Hello and welcome to the special edition of India Today E-Mind Rocks 2020. This time we go digital to reach almost everyone the way we've always done. The youth of the country always awaits this special show and today we have a special guest, Papon. Angarag Mahantam, not many know with this name, but he is a singer, a composer, a producer, a multi-instrumental expert is all you could call. Rooted in the folks, but also can sing on any pitch ever possible and will make your heart sing the same way. Welcome Papon on this special show. Once again, we are on E-Mind Rocks this time. The distance doesn't matter till the time we're connected the way we are this time. How does it feel to be on the show? Uh, it's kind of the same The when I hear your voice. It feels like Mind Rocks, but uh, it's obviously a little different. We are not sitting with so many people in a auditorium, how it used to be. But it's nice, it's nice to be back with uh, India Today and E-Mind Rocks. But what has been different is the lockdown. How have you handled the COVID-19 crisis? What has been the most special about it? Special, that's very interesting, a question. Uh, special is the time I have spent with my kids, actually, to be honest. Spending time with the family has been special. And uh, so many things we have done, we had we wouldn't have done otherwise. We wouldn't, ha we wouldn't have had the time to do this. So, yeah, that's special. Otherwise, yeah, as I have become a lockdown specialist, how to deal with things at home and take care of the entire house while doing work and making music. Papan, crisis creates and also promotes creativity somehow or the other because it's always said that uh, necessity is the mother of invention. How has it or has it helped at all in making more a little more creative than you've always been? Well, it's not because of the crisis, maybe, I'm not very sure, but uh, I think what this crisis has done to all of us, I think, you know, collectively to almost all human beings, I think uh, everyone's a little vulnerable right now because nobody really knows what's ahead. Vulnerability also brings people, you know, down to the earth, closer to your own self, your heart, opens up things to receive, you know, to... You know, because you're vulnerable, so you, you know, you're not sure. So you are open to ideas, you're open to, you know, holding on to other people's thoughts and their time and you respect each other's space. So, yeah, definitely this kind of, you know, creates a space for the creative person to open up and do things just the way the heart wants, you know. So I think it's exciting for creativity in a way. What did you create during the crisis, this lockdown time? <laughs> I had to create many stories apart from music to tell to my children. <laughs> but musically, uh, yes, I, I, I mean, first couple of weeks just went checking, I mean, figuring out how to take care of the house, entire house without any help at home. And uh, data, as we got used to, you know, it, we got the hang of it. <clears throat> so I, first song was an Asimi song I did. It's called Par Hoboye Khomoy which means this time, this too shall pass, this time will pass. And <clears throat> it was also because of lots of discussions I was having with all my friends over the phone. Ob obviously, people are stressed, people are a little worried, you know, like, what is, where is it going to be? You know, work, money, finance, you know, everything, career. So I just figured out that, you know, we needed to be healthy, we needed to be fit. Uh, you, uh, you have to grow our, like, we have to build our immune system. That's what we were told. So I thought, you know, if you're mentally not healthy, then you physically cannot. So it's better to, you know, feel good, think good, do be positive and not think about what's ahead. You know, just let's think about what's now and do the best and do the most out of it. So that's the, that was what the song was about. And then I made many more songs. You've been an icon to the youth. So how do you advise them to handle this crisis? These are testing times for sure. I would say nobody knows an answer to that. Okay, to be honest, to be really honest, you know, nobody has an answer to that. Even the youth knows that they're very smart and very intelligent. They also know that, you know, I think they're better off than us. They don't have that kind of worry. They're not conditioned to worry so much. They are in their youth of life, which is not to worry, you know, but the only thing they would worry about is their career, maybe, you know, how maybe someone was just about to, you know, do something good in life, something must have maybe had opened up and suddenly everything just, you know, went shut. And then I'm, I'm sure some of them would be worried, now what? 
but i would say just maybe a year or whatever time it is it has never happened before you know in your lifetime so just take it differently what best can you do is what you can do right and what you should do and that's what you are doing i think you know you're spending time with your family you're rethinking about what are the possibility to possibilities what could the future be like you know become future ready work on your health you know if you have ideas work on them now this is a time you get, you're getting so much time which you'll never get so i think this is the way you have to handle it i guess you know what one thing did you do that you loved and you realized that this too was a side of you well many things actually i don't really <laughs> remember what good thing was the whole whole picture that you know we could go ahead you know shweta and i could uh, just do everything on our own and you know it just felt so good and we felt so much more confident and good about it we are still doing that as a unit as a family you know who whoever's home we are uh, doing our bit i have done everything from cutting hair like my sons i'm doing his hair to I mean, like be becoming a barber to a gardener to a mopping person to a cooking assistant sometimes cooking uh, everything i don't know i cannot think of one thing but yes done everything i was i had done in my college days when i was staying in like a hostel situation in delhi the the youth has always been known for following you on what you do what would you advise them to go ahead is it only follow the passion because money is important at a time when you've been blessed enough blessed enough to have a dna of singers not many have that side how do you ask them how do you advise them to handle this entire episode of life i think by now we are all kind of getting used to uh, you know hanging out with uncertainty we all know that now nobody is sure about what's happening going to happen but everyone is positive all my fans as you said you know what should i tell them they already got the message i have been you know seeing their messages and they've been so happy they've been saying thank you for making us positive thank you for being so positive they're saying and they are also feeling the positivity it's just that you have to be positive nothing you can do about the money side of it right now uh, we are all going through a crisis at our own i'm sure you know level of uh, whatever how you survive on this uh, you know on this planet cities towns wherever we are we are feeling the crisis of the money crisis you know but we'll find a way we cannot panic we shouldn't panic we there's no way as i told you before that there's no point thinking about what will happen when that will happen you know that will happen and we'll see as of now we can't do anything about it so just you know stay positive and then you know only when you mentally at calm, at at ease and you're calm is when you can take correct decisions if you need to take a decision about something at a juncture you have to be very you know stable in your mind and happy to make a right decision if you if you're disturbed you'll make a wrong decision so why do that that's the, that's the best you can do i think one thing everyone has always asked is how does uh, papon bust his stress how do you do that because not always singing a sad song is feeling sad or is it is it the stress that sometimes takes over also that's a natural emotion i don't know i see everyone gets stress obviously you know stress will come to you but somehow i don't know how i have handled it actually i haven't nobody has asked me this but i think i haven't i think see there's st- stress it can come to you but the problem is if you keep on if you keep stressing you know if you hold on to stress for longer time stress can come you just have to let it go it comes to you you think like okay okay i can do anything about it go side but if you hold on to stress i think that's what i do i don't if anything comes a worry comes to me i think i'm like okay let it be i can't do anything about it if i hold on to it if i keep digging it that's when i'll you know go deep into a little darker negative zone so that's how i do it i think i just say see you another time to stress <laughs> So Babun what do you enjoy more playback singing or stage performances with loud cheer and claps Both actually I mean in the studio is when when not on, not just playback when I'm making my own music uh, which is not for films um that's the best moment because you're creating something you know you're bringing in something new to the world and obviously you know I think a little bit of more points goes goes to stage because you can share the same song and with people you know and people energy is something else you know it's so much love there so much so much of good vibes and energy and you know you just 
you know, it's so lovely. Actually, both the sides I love, but yeah, maybe live shows is definitely what I'm missing right now. So maybe that more right now. What did you miss the most during the the lockdown? What was one thing or maybe two three things that you were like, "Kash, aisa ho jata." I most of all, I think I've been missing the mountains. Actually, that is the only thing I'm missing. I'm happy to be with my family, home with the kids, first time spending time making, actually doing some music with them for the first time, which never had happened before this lockdown ever with my kids. But I'm definitely one thing. I'm the day I can move, I'll straight away run to the mountains. You know, I need to. go to the forest i think that is my medicine that is my that keeps me sane that's my oxygen that's everything for me actually it's more than music i need forest and that's definitely what i'm missing sir you've been very passionate about environment and in the context of covid-19 or the crisis how do you see it and what are the efforts that you have put in that's because i love trees that's because i love looking at them making music <laughs> i love when the leaves fall move fly you know i love the breeze so yeah i love forest that's about it i and it uh, if you saying covid wise now it's actually f- uh, i think the <clears throat> nature is actually smiling nature is actually looking much better uh, with all the machineries and all the human inventions uh, you know polluting human inventions uh, being you know at b so i think nature is really smiling if you see the skies now these days it's like i have never seen mumbai sky this blue ever i don't think anyone has i've been just clicking pictures every day on instagram and facebook and you know i've been just talking about the nature because it's looking so good right now so it's imagine you know if we can shut down for 3 months if this can happen i wish we had more uh nature friendly cities i wish we had more cycling tracks i wish we had more you know that way we could have function a bit more consciously i really hope i wish i don't know if that's possible you talking about nature you've been an inspiration <coughs> to millions of youths of the country and the world but what kind of music inspires you all kinds actually if you have seen i don't know how you know looking at my how i was brought up with the parents doing folk music and you know that kind of music from there born up in you know brought up in northeast of india which is a lot of rock blues coming to delhi to study getting exposed to electronic music <clears throat> so yeah i mean i love jazz I, i it's very difficult to say what i love but i mostly maybe i listen to i love a lot of electronic music actually that could be one though i'm known to love to have a love for and sing ghazals since very early in my life but yeah that's also there it's very difficult to say i have a it's just good music i guess that's all i can say from from northeast and traveling to delhi then mumbai the entire brigade of making a mark and your own personality the way you are today almost two decades of the entire episodes that we've seen one thing about bollywood that you would like to tell people to do or not to do or maybe your experiences with it well it's been a very interesting space for me the journey all the way i never had a journey firstly and i never had a plan ever in my life to become a playback singer i never thought i would can become one i never thought i'd become a musician firstly because there's so much music at home i think i took it for granted i went to delhi for architecture as we have discussed maybe before then i picked up music because i figured that i was not good at anything else and i figured okay so maybe music i can do music maybe you know so so it took me a while it just it was not like anybody like young like you know, lots of the playback singer musicians were from childhood they listen to playback music they want to do playback music they have a plan i didn't have any so i still don't have any plan so my i landed up i just landed up in bollywood somehow you know so I also did different songs because my voice was different I guess. Star. And uh, <laughs> no I just went on I don't still now I don't know. I still don't know when another song will come or not really you know I just don't know I just been lucky to get good songs I have been selective and you know choosy about what I do because I never believed in numbers and I wanted to give 100% and shine in whatever i do and maybe just a bit of work so that's what's happened to me i guess 
and so i still belong to bollywood i still don't i don't know so i've been around i've been getting some songs i sing now and then and for me it's not bollywood it's for me it's another musician calling me asking me to sing a song if i connect to the song i sing and uh, i learn in the process when i sing someone else's music you know i learn few things i wouldn't do in my music it's just about music it's been like that for me you know so i never had a plan i still don't know so i'm not the best person to give you a picture about bollywood i guess well god has a plan for you for sure but here's a question from nimish in galgotia's university and the question is that's a viewer question that we taking the songs from late 90s versus songs of 20s don't you think the songs have lost their emotional connect along its way well i wouldn't say that nimish i mean it depends on what you are listening to what's happening is there's always good music and bad music i would say what happens now maybe is that there's so much demand for music there's so much of music business that people are working like a job for music when you're making too much music and you don't let nature come through you because you are just a medium you have to understand that you know music is 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 a story in in tune of your mood it's a reflection of your mood so if you don't have a mood and you someone's telling you to make music and you are have to deliver i think that's a lot of what's happening like if you keep on churning out music so much then it's natural that a lot of the music could be just music as in terms of notes and beats it won't have the heart the heart only happens when it happens so that too happens now it's not that it doesn't it's just that there's so much music out there now coming towards you that you don't know what to pick but if you really look back uh, you can immediately think of 10 good songs in in 20s and you'll feel good that's good enough you know if you have 10 good songs which can make you cry or smile so that could be the reason i think i don't know that's my perception papon this one is a tricky one from me where is papon's heart papon ka dil kahan hai shoulder ke niche chhati ke thoda upar the other way thoda left side mein <laughs> well <laughs> Is hard. You you sounding scientific instead of melodious. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm 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 very shallow. my USP is being shallow. I love being shallow with my friends, and I'm taking you as a friend. And you know, all my fans who are watching, if they are, <laughs> I like this little fun side. But uh, heart is where heart is where the heart should be. I guess my I think I I hope that my heart is in the right place. I. Don't know how to answer that question. This is from Komal Rathit from Delhi University. How badly has Assamese film industry been affected by this Corona impact, and will it be able to survive post the COVID nineteen pandemic? That's a serious one. Hmm. Well, see, it's serious, but we cannot be serious about seriousness, right? So, <clears throat> I guess, you know, it's not just Assamese industry, film industry. It's all everywhere. Everything has been, you know, badly hit. You know, we all know that. so we should only now see that's how i am i have always been very optimistic very positive that's how i live i don't want to see the other side of the coin most of the time because i know that also exists and we can get attracted very or sucked in by dark and negative thoughts so this is a time we have time to think uh, where was anything and everything heading you know if we were in a too much of a hurry where we you know the 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 speed of change that change which was happening every year change is inevitable but was the speed too much should we have stopped a bit and enjoy every bit of it slowly and move on so there's so many ways we can look at things now you know we have time if anything went wrong wrong with any industry film industry as in film industry or anything is going wrong right now people are not people will be, then i hope people are more serious and do much more meaningful stuff after after this is over because everything gets over nothing lasts forever all of these things so this will get over we know that but are we going to be a little different have we learned anything from here are we that we have survived this long it feels long now long dark phase which will be if you look back in time I'll, we'll see that this was very short maybe you know i hope So have we picked up anything from here that you know we shouldn't just hang around we shouldn't just keep churning out things because we have to but be more meaningful value it more we should learn from here maybe this is a time to learn and what to do in future and what not to 
I think we can just look at it like that. You've been involved in a lot of philanthropic activities also. Anything specific that you did and you would like to share with us? There's nothing specific. I mean, whatever I feel for and I am able to in that moment, I do. You know, sometimes you feel like doing so many things you cannot. You not either you don't have the money, either you don't have you're not in the right place, either you don't have enough information or the time. So whichever way, I just do when few things fall in place and I am able to do something. I do then. And uh, during the lockdown, I have definitely, you know, from the beginning, I have been feel, feeling like doing something for people in misery. You know, you see, they have to understand that, you know, artists, a lot of artists are doing things. They're also going through something, you know, themselves. We are also all going through something, but you cannot break down. So you have to give to someone. So you get, you know, in terms of if you give positivity, and, and smiles come back to you. That's that's a good thing to do. So I've done a lot. And you must have seen on TV, wherever, internet, whatever I could. And yeah, I don't remember anything specific, but yeah, I've done whatever I could. Very optimistic about days to come and the future. Would like you to drive through a song and express maybe back to back two songs and how to go ahead in the days to come. Mo mo ke dhage ke bina nahi jane denge. हाँ उन धागों ने तो ऐसे बांध लिया मुझे अब उससे निकलना तो मुश्किल ही है थैंक यू पापोन फॉर जॉइनिंग अस ऑन इंडिया टुडे एंड ऑफ कोर्स ब्रिंगिंग अस थ्रू ड्राइविंग अस थ्रू ऑन द इंटायर एपिसोड्स द लाइफस्टाइल एंड द लेसन्स दैट यू लर्न ड्यूरिंग कोविड 19 दीज आर टेस्टिंग टाइम्स of course no one wants to be tested positive we all want to be tested negative but the only reason is that the and the highest spirit during this time is to stay positive thank you for joining and tuning in to the india today e mind rocks 2020 stay tuned on india today